So there's many different um, expensive portfolios that you can buy, but honestly, I find that these handmade ones are the best because they're lightweight. They do a better job compressing the artwork so it doesn't float around inside and get dented. And I can make them to exactly whatever size I need. So first I cut two pieces of cardboard to the exact same size. You can find large pieces of cardboard at supermarkets or often people will just give them away and buy nothing groups online. And using a razor blade with a ruler as a straight edge seems to be the easiest and cleanest way to cut cardboard. You wanna score it repeatedly rather than exerting excessive force and risking a cut. So I make mine a couple inches larger than the biggest piece of artwork I plan to carry. So if I was going to carry an 18 by 24 inch piece of paper, I might make my portfolio about 22 by 28 inches. And that way, if anything slides around, it doesn't poke out or get um, bent. I used a drill to make the holes up top that the cords go through, but anything pointy enough can punch a hole. Be sure your handles are centered or the portfolio will not hang level, which is very annoying. The sides are held together using bulldog clips. If your portfolio is very large or your cardboard is very thin, which makes it more likely to bow, then you might need more than just two clips. So I covered the inside of the cardboard with drawing paper because sometimes ink or dirt on the cardboard will transfer onto your artwork. And then I connected the two sides using packaging tape because it seems to be the strongest and it's somewhat water resistant. So if you set your portfolio down on a damp street, it doesn't immediately soak through. But really you can use just whatever you have on hand. These are, these are my preferences. I don't particularly like duct tape though because it does get gummy as it ages. So I hope this is helpful. Um, all of my portfolios pretty much are made using this method.